hi everyone happy new year and welcome back to my channel in today's video we will be making a delicious casrip chicken recipe now this is a requested video from one of my subscriber I hope you enjoy this recipe remember for all the ingredients and measurements it will be listed down below in the description box under this video now let's see what you will need for today's recipe here's what you will need for today's recipe in my bowl here I have my chicken that I already washed and prepare I also added one hot pepper it's your choice to use the amount you want or if you want to add any at all now in my container here I have some green seasoning and I prepared my green seasoning the way I like it you can prepare yours the way you like to prepare yours add in whatever you would like to add in um, here I have some Cezanne and this is the bright orange color Cezanne. I am using this just to add a little bit of color to the recipe. I would have liked to use two of those cubes, the red cube, the ones that, um, you know, when you add it to your pot, it gets nice and red to add that little color. But I, but I don't have any of that in hand, so I will be using the Cezanne. I also have here some complete seasoning, some adobo accent chicken boulon black pepper all-purpose chief seasoning and i have here some brown sugar now if you would like to add the accent you can go ahead and add it in if you don't like to add it then you can totally omit that from the recipe in addition to the green seasoning i also have some scallions thyme celery leaves and some freshly chopped onion I've also added um, a little bit of each to my green seasoning. I will be using some casrip since it's casrip chicken. And this is the brand of casrip I will be using, countertop. And you will also need some oil for cooking. The next step is to your chicken, you're going to add in all your dry ingredients. And I'm also going to add in my green seasoning. We're going to place the sugar on the side. We're not going to use the sugar right now. And you're going to mix to make sure that all the ingredients are coated evenly on your chicken. Now, after you're done seasoning the chicken and you're sure that it's coated evenly with the seasoning, we are going to place this on the side and allow it to sit for about 30 minutes or so. If you have time, you can allow it to sit and marinate for about two hours if you have the time. If not, then it's totally fine. After 30 minutes, you can start cooking. Now, to my pot, I am going to go in with about three tablespoons of oil here. Now, when your oil come up to a nice hot temperature, you will add in your brown sugar here. Now, you're going to allow the sugar to caramelize in the oil. You want to make sure that the sugar has a nice dark golden brown color in the end. That is what we are looking for. We don't want the sugar to be burned. If you allow the sugar to burn and become really black, then in the end the dish will become bitter in taste. I'll show you the exact color we are looking for in the end. Now this is the color I am looking for. I'm going to go ahead and add in my chicken. So we're just going to allow this to cook for a few minutes until all the water that was released from the chicken dry back out. We don't want to cook the chicken with any bloody or rank water that was released from the chicken. It's really nice to let that water burn out before you add any other ingredients so i'll come back and show you guys when you're ready to move on to the next step just remember to allow all the water to evaporate completely so now that my water dries out i will go in with my onions and my thyme and i'll place these on the side for now i'm going to mix this in as well here Now after combining all your ingredients together, we will go in with our casrip now. And you want to remember to add just a little bit at a time. You don't want to overpower the dish with the casrip. 
and in the end it tastes bitter. Now you're gonna mix this in and you're gonna look at the color you have here and if you are pleased with that color you will allow it to cook down. Now after adding in my casserole, I'm going to go in with one cup of water. You can add a little bit more if you feel it's needed. If it dries out fast and you need to add some more, you can go ahead and add in some more water. But a little bit of advice, you want to taste this now here to make sure that it's not too bitter. Now it depends on the casserole you have. Sometimes some of them is so strong that it gets the pot, you know, extra bitter in the end um, when the water dries out it's going to get a little bit bitter and if you know cashew chicken it's meant to be a little bit bitter in the end not too much but if that be the case and yours is extremely bitter all you have to do is add in a tablespoon of brown sugar or a little bit of brown sugar depending on how much you want to add in for me i am going to add in some brown sugar because mine's is a little bit bitter and as you can see, the color is not that dark. It's, it has a really nice light color, but still it is bitter. And that is because of the brand of cashew I'm using. So I did went in here with one tablespoon more of brown sugar. And that's how you will be able to adjust the taste in the end with a little bit of brown sugar. Now after you add all the ingredients and the water, everything to the pot, you just want to cover it and allow it to cook completely to the softness you like. You want your meat to be nice and tender. And I'll come back to show you guys the next step. So guys, before I could come back and show you what I did in the last step, I accidentally delete that part of the video. But basically what I did is when the water dries out, I add in the scallions and the celery leaf and I fry it up for about a minute or so and then turn my stove off. By then all the water dries out completely. I then allow it to cool down and place it in my serving container. And here is the final result of my casserole chicken. I really do hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed for more video. As usual, I want to say thank you for watching, goodbye, and I'll see you in my next video.